Greetings ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Kessler back at it again with Valheim. I'm now with my boy Burger King right here, <laughs> cooking some meat. <laughs> Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to fight Elk Tier. E this is even if you're uh, a new player. You can do this even with, for example, a Crude Bowl. Now I have, of course, an upgrade version just to make things faster. But you can do this with a Crude Bowl like my boy here has with some normal wooden arrows. It's a very simple strategy that you will now just see. First, of course, you need to have um, Deer Trophies, specifically just two. I have three just because. So, right now, um, it's... It's best to do this at daytime, one of the tips and tricks of uh, this is to do it at daytime as you have less enemies like there and uh, I'm assuming you can't sleep, right? Yes, I can't sleep because this is not my bed. Ah, I see. So our friend here is um, <clears throat> a, bit of a, a bit of a bitch and can't sleep in another guy's bed. So he's that, ho that much <laughs> of a homophobe. So here, uh, here, have another bed. <laughs> Can you sleep in this one? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yes. that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, we will, of course, after sleeping this off, uh, go and kill a giant electric elk. Oh, now I'm dreaming. The, the dreams and voices came back again. That's good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you to shut up? Oh, apparently they do. Yep. Alright, so, uh, of course, this is what the elk tier altar is going to be like. Uh, you're going to have it marked on your mark map when you, you know, when you spawn here and get and click E on the uh, big glowing red stone. Uh, this is a gray link, not connected to elk tier. Just kill it. It's fine. Uh, and um, when pressed with the altar, it's gonna want to press 1 and 7. Now, my uh, friend here, as you can see, he was breakdancing on the altar as a sign of disrespect. Clearly, this man does not care about the elk. So, uh, <laughs> l let's, let's, let's see what elk here has. Let's see if elk here has something to say about that. Oh, holy hell. Uh, apparently, he doesn't like your dance routine. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to impress the bigger souls. Oh, no. Uh, you press them a bit too much. And here is the strategy, ladies and gentlemen. Just hide behind these rocks. That's actually literally it. Even if you're just one person, uh, j that's it. Just hide. Don't, don't be me right now uh, taking the hit right in the face. Yes, don't don't be that guy. Don't be that don't be that bitch right there that's just not properly hiding. Be like me. See? Oh, it can pass through stone, by the way. Yes, it can pass through the stone. Thank you for telling them oh that. Damn. So this is why you uh, just abuse the camera, your most loyal friend and um, your most traitorous also friend, maybe. I don't know. And just, you know, you look at the big electric elk when he's charging up his electricity beam and you dodge and you run. That is why the run button is made. And soon enough, you will see that elk tier is a coward. Because he's running. Look at him go. Pristine elk AI. Deers, deers are actually cowards, so. Well, n not really. A deer can absolutely curb stomp any anyone in real life. But let's not talk about that. <laughs> yeah. We're lucky they're not predators. Let's just say that. And with that, we have successfully finished removing elk here from existence. And now we wait for the lawsuit from PETA. No, 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 you can't. Uh, obviously... Can't. We, 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 are no, we are not in other games here. Ah, yes, yeah, you're not in Call of Duty. Now, Elk Tier will just drop the Egg Tier Trophy. Uh, and the Hard he's Antlers. And he's going to break celebrate dance, yes. This. Yes. Uh, yes, break dance on the altar. You know, let's see if Egg Tier spawns again. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, Egg Tier drops Hard Antlers and uh, the trophy, of course, you will have to offer to the Sacrificial Stones for the power of Egg Tier, which is, well, as you can guess from a speed-based animal, it will just reduce the stamina, stamina that you use when you're jumping or when you're running. 
uh, obviously we don't <coughs> we can't actually give it anywhere as the alter it's as we've already you know, put the offer somewhere else and the antler as I mentioned is made is for the antler pickaxe which you can use to simply just mine stone and not have any stone shortages now what you're what you're seeing at the moment is that I'm punching the stones so um, don't do that because that's not going to net you anything yes see do what my friend is doing absolutely that's how you do it and as you can see many hands made like work this stone that normally takes a couple of swings now is taking almost not at all uh, now a um, quicker course examination try not to hit the ground too much with the pickaxe as what will happen is you may dig yourself into a hole you can't dig yourself out of it can happen like I did before yes like this uh, person did before and like we were just going to do right now if we weren't careful so as uh, as they always say practice practice safe safe pickaxing I guess uh, oh, also hard density. Now my friend here has a flint pickaxe and as you can see here Can't do anything. Just too hard. It's too hard. This wood is too hard. Just like me in the morning Fucking But with the right tool you can conquer any wood and for uh, This type of log which is a birch tree you will need a bronze pickaxe uh, now, if you, if my friend would so kindly stop getting in the way of my pickaxe, oh, my fucking axe, uh, I wouldn't hit him and cause a concussion. Oh, you're gonna be, you're gonna be like that, right? Is that right? Now, the birch... I'm, I'm trying to steal your wood. <laughs> no, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be the first, not gonna be the last. Um, now, birch trees and oak trees drop fine wood which is what you need to craft a couple of other things like a fine wood bow and some ingredients uh, for upgrading your workstation uh, amongst other things now uh, this is uh, the aforementioned hole that you might dig yourself into but no worries you can absolutely jump uh, away from it however something Holy. Holy. no not on the house as you can see, mistakes like these do happen. Now, you're probably wondering, Chaos, what the fuck? And how do I fix my house once I've broken it? Well, that's quite simple, my friend. Just get out of the hammer. Right click, get out the hammer, make sure it's on furniture, put it on repair, and start spam clicking the ever-loving god out of the left button of your mouse. And you see? I'm repairing everything without needing any wood or uh, anything at all. See, it is that easy. Now, something else you need to realize and uh, something that I vehemently, and I mean this, with great gusto uh, support is always make sure when start starting out you're gonna have a point where uh, you will want to build a boat maybe sail into another island become an actual viking now here's the thing with rafts boats or uh, as you would call them sea cars you have to make sure that you have built a construction like this um, to hold it still as the boat the raft itself will move it will move even if you don't move it yourself the sea will move it out and you may not see it again now what i suggest is building this before you put the boat down or you may have situations like that over there uh, which i will not comment on uh, however another thing is i always say always build two boats reason why is that if you die on the island there is no way of getting your boat back and subsequently there's no way of getting into that island so it's always better to be saved rather than sorry as they say now uh, I will show you how to move the boat now uh, can my second in command grab the raft it's gonna be a bumpy ride the raft good sir the big shaft yes okay see he understood that he understood that he knows a lot of he knows a lot about shafts <laughs> Now, as you can see here, even though the cells are... Uh, you don't what? 
I don't know about shaft. <laughs> sure. Now, as you can see here, even though I'm setting cell and the bolt is trying to move forwards, it's not happening. Now, do you wonder why that is? If one of you answered, well, Chaos, you stupid motherfucker, it's because you have this whole thing blocking it, you'd be absolutely right. And so, we have to destroy a part of our creation. Always make sure just to destroy the front part, uh, and make sure not to destroy uh, the raft itself, as if you do that, well, it's not going to be a good day for you. Now, the raft works on simple controls. Oh, no. What? What do I do now? Uh, you just enjoy the ride, my friend. The oh, so we can't actually steer this? Oh, we can. The, I'm the one steering and controlling everything. So you steer and control oh. from where I'm standing right now, or as it's known, the rudder. Uh, now, to go forward at maximum speed, how it works is you press W1 and you go into minimum speed. Press 2, medium speeds, and as you can see, the, uh, the flag is set. And then maximum speed is when the flag is fully there and you're riding yeah, the yeah, wind maximum yeah, maximum. Yeah, yeah, the flag is in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yes, uh th that <laughs> Come on. Man. Um you can obviously steer with A, a and D. Uh and we're now into the ocean. That is that is the area that we're in, the ocean. Now be careful not to die in the ocean. As if you do. How can you die in the ocean? Oh, it's quite simple. If you jump, uh, like if you jump from the boat, and die like an idiot because your stamina ran out and you're drowning, uh, then it's a simple solution of uh, dying, and therefore your items will sink to the bottom of the ocean, and then you can't get them. So please, whatever you do, do not die in the ocean. If you die in this game, just just die on land. It's quite simple. There is yeah. n there is no shame in dying. Dying to the ocean, however, is an entirely different thing. And you feel shame and regret, and you wonder to yourself, why didn't I listen? Why did no one tell me? But the thing is, someone did tell you, and that was yeah, me. Yes, and that's why you should always subscribe to Chaos Slayer because he always gives the facts and yeah, the logic. Subscribe to Chaos. <laughs> don't, don't be that person. Just subscribe to Chaos. Activate the bell too. Absolutely. Just always subscribe, activate the bell, do everything. I don't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, this sounds way so, so forced, man. I'm not used to saying people to subscribe, even though before I did. You definitely should ask people to subscribe because, yeah, why not? Yeah, I guess so. Now, uh, as you can see, there is a little wi compass and a wind icon, uh, as we can see that here on the farthest left. That is what that is in a situation here when the wind blows. Now, uh, for maximum amount of speed, you want to center your shift your ship so that the actual flag itself is facing front and what that will do is simple that will maximize the speed and you will be able to make it so that you're moving the fastest possible speed in the da in that particular direction now if you of course do not want to move in that particular direction then simply just ignore what that is uh, but if it's you know where you're going anyways then you might as well just do that then get there way faster. Now, of course, we're just using this to map everything out here. This is not a giant lake, but the uh, world of Valheim is in fact mega big ass large. Yeah, like, like planet size. Indeed. Which is a really good thing to have. So for now, uh, what we're going to do is... Um, I'm not actually sure what should we do at this point. Jump off from the seal comedically? Actually, is it bigger than Minecraft? Oh, uh, I'm not. I, I don't think so. None. Mm, not gonna. Not gonna be. Uh, not gonna be honest. Not quite sure on that one. Perhaps maybe someone in the comments can answer. I think it may be a uh, bigger map size. Uh, however, we are talking vanilla Minecraft here, right? Yes. The Minecraft vanilla experience, you know. 
Mm, then in that situation, I will say maybe yes, it is could be bigger. Not quite yeah, sure. Yeah, because if you just press M, you can just see how big it is and how little we explored. Uh, yes, that is correct. We you can do that uh, and see that. Ooh, trumpets. This game has a, no a really good soundtrack. Now, what we're doing right now. Please don't do this, by the way, because we're going into an area we've never explored before and we're doing this without preparation, without planning. Don't do it. If you're, if you're gonna do that, uh, make sure you always have, as I mentioned, that backup bolt. Make sure you have some lots of food and make sure the area you're going to is already mapped out. Um, but of course, if you're doing that just anyways, then that is absolutely fine. Do as you please. Do as the heart tells. But, in this situation, that is all I have to show you for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. This is Chaos Slayer and my main bitch, Cryogen. Peace out. Yo.